what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Floyd Mayweather is preparing for his big fight on August 26th against MMA fighter Conor McGregor. Floyd says that this particular fight, unlike most every fight he's ever had, cannot be a defensive fight. This has to be action because he feels some type of way about the buyer remorse from his fight, his 12-round victory over Manny Pacquiao two years ago. Now, Floyd is saying he's going to bring the fight to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is a younger guy. He's, he's bigger. He's stronger. But he's an MMA fighter. Floyd Mayweather is a traditional classic boxer. Not just a regular classic boxer, but a championship one of the greatest boxers to ever lace up gloves. Now, these are two different sports now. You got boxing on one hand, which is a stand-up combat sport, and then you have MMA, which is stand-up, roll around on the mat, tussle, wrestle, and all kind of things. I think that Conor McGregor has a chance. Anytime you get into a boxing ring, there's always a chance. Anything could happen. But I think that chance is a long shot. We're talking about a long shot. And I think that the odds are going to actually, the odds are already in Floyd's favor, the betting odds. And I think that odd. Uh, the odds are going to extend by the night of the fight. I just don't see Conor McGregor winning this fight. Now, Floyd has been trying to talk this fight up. He's been saying that he's lost a step. He's saying he's not the person he used to be. He used to have a 90% uh, knockout ratio. That's way down. The chance that Connor has is that Floyd has not shown any power in at least the last half decade. So Connor can actually take some chances here. He really has nothing to lose. He going, he's going to pick up a huge payday. Everybody knows who he is. He's a huge draw. He can go for broke. And if he get knocked out, nobody will say, ah, hi, that's what you get. They'll be like, hey, man, well, we thought that's what we thought was going to happen. You know, we, we knew that would happen. If he knocks Floyd out, man, he's going to change the course of history. Now, he really solidifies. He puts his name in the history books forever. Because Floyd is 49 and 0, and he wants to get to that 50 and 0. Some people are saying that he should have an asterisk by that 50 if he should win this fight, if he so happens to win this fight. Because they're saying that this is really not a fight. This is really not a boxing match. This is more like an exhibition. And most boxing enthusiasts agree. I'm one of those enthusiasts. I, I don't feel like this is a real boxing match. And I don't think it should be really graded like other matches has been graded, you know, the other matches that he has participated in. Because Conor McGregor has never entered a boxing ring and competed before in his life. So this is almost like putting a guy up, you know, just a guy that's he's gung-ho, He's excited, he wanna fight, but he's getting into the ring with somebody who is 49 and 0, and he's never had a fight before in his life. Now, like I say, anytime you get into the ring, you got a shot. I mean, cause all it takes is one punch. 
and you can be out of here. It can happen. When I was in the amateurs, I, <laughs> I was winning the majority of the fight. It was three round fight, uh, three minutes. I won the first, I won the first two rounds easily. I'm talking about, I'm coasting. Man, I went to playing around and dude caught me with a lucky one and bam, fight over. So it can happen. And I've seen it happen to great fighters. I mean, great professional fighters, the best of the best, anybody you name, uh, it could happen to. You get inside of that ring. Now, Floyd also has a chip on his shoulder about this fight. Well, actually, he didn't have a chip on his shoulder in the beginning, but now he has a chip on his shoulder because Conor McGregor made some racist statements. Floyd took exception to him. He made some statements, some derogatory, derogatory comments aimed at black people. And Floyd took exception to that, and he says, I'm going to beat you for all the black people. He said, I'm going to beat you for America. I'm going to beat you for America and I'm going to beat you for all the black people in the world. Now, in all fairness, Floyd has been accused of doing the exact same thing he's accusing dude of doing. I mean, he actually did. not being accused, but he actually did it. I mean, he, he made a derogatory uh, racial epithet aimed at Manny Pacquiao when they were, when they were, uh, going toward their fight, when they were getting ready and preparing for their fight. So I guess what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Nevertheless, this is one of those fights for me where, you know, it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. It's not, one, it's not a fight that I'm going to be jumping up and down and say I need to see this fight. It's a fight that I'll see later. Uh, I probably won't watch it the same night. Uh, you know, if I'm up, maybe I will, but I'm not going to go out of my way to watch it. I, I am going to watch it because I do believe it's going to be entertaining. It will be something to see. And these are, this is one of those fights where every now and then you have sporting competitions and stuff where it's just really about entertainment. It's not really about, it's kind of like that sport team that you go watch and they ain't want a game all year, but you go because it's an event, it's entertainment. So that's the way I'm really looking at this fight. Connor has youth, he has strength, he has reach. What he don't have, I don't believe, is a real chance, like a real chance where you like, you know what, I'll put my money on this. He has a chance, but I don't think he has a real chance where you would actually put your money down on it. Because Connor, when he fought Nate Diaz, he struggled boxing. Both of these guys, uh, Connor and Diaz, neither of these guys had good head movement. That's going to be a problem fighting Floyd Mayweather. If you don't move your head, you're going to get hit in the head often. You got to be able to move your head. You got to be able to move. If I'm flawed, last fight, maybe I get to 50 and 0 for all the marbles. Would I take the chance? Or would I sit back and coast on through to victory? If Floyd decides to just do his defense, and stick and move, he will easily win the fight. If he chooses to brawl and mix it up, he is going to put himself at risk. If I'm Floyd Mayweather, would I do that? I'm 49 and 0. One more win, I'm 50, I'm a perfect 50 and 0. Would I take the chance to just squabble, just squabble 
for my legacy? Hell yeah, I'd do it. I would do it. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I would risk it. Last fight, I give him something to remember. I put it all on the line. I'd roll the dice and I'd fight my ass off. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.